don't know why I'm writing it, it's right there. Mm -hmm. If negative 2 is less than x is less than or equal to 0, and log base 2 of x. Okay, so remember how piecewise defined functions work. They come up a lot in calculus, so very important. Yeah. It's basically drawing three functions in one, but only pieces of each of them. So this piece, for instance, where x is less than or equal to negative 2, so we're talking about over here. Over here, the function is f of x equals 3, and f of x equals 3 is just a constant function. If I were going to draw the whole thing, it would look like this. But I don't get to draw the whole thing. I only get to draw the part where x is less than or equal to negative 2. So from here on, yes, but not over here. Yeah? And then this part, 2x plus 1. The graph of 2x plus 1 is a line with slope 2 and y-intercept 1. So it looks roughly like this. I only get the piece of it, though, between negative 2 and 0. So for instance, if I put x equals negative 2 in to here, I get negative 3. So I get negative 2, negative 3, only I don't get to go all the way to there. I just go right up to there, but I don't include it. So that one's open. And how far do I get to go? I get to go to the point where x is 1. Oh, not x is 1, x is 0. So x is 0, put in x is 0, I get y is 1, so I get up to that point. And notice these two don't connect. Sometimes the two pieces connect, sometimes they don't. All right, and then log base 2 of x. Oh, so i got to remember log graphs. Log graphs. If the base is greater than 1, then they all roughly look the same but they're a little bit steeper or flatter or something like that. Okay, so my graph is gonna look like this. Log base two of x then goes through one zero and roughly does this. And what does it do over here? Well, it goes close to there as an asymptote. If I want to get a little bit better idea on the bend of this graph, then put in a point. For instance, if I put in 4, the log base 2 of 4, what is that? That's 2, so I would get point four two. Okay, so piecewise defined functions. Remember, a lot of times people get kind of carried away and draw this going the whole way and draw this going the whole way. So that's why I always suggest when you're done, step back and go, wait, is that really a function? Does it satisfy the vertical line test? And it does. Anywhere I draw a vertical line, it doesn't go through two points. So it's a function. Okay. 